Hey everybody, uh, I have gotten my hands on a few new tools and gadgets and stuff lately and I thought it might be kind of fun to take a quick look at some of them. There's a new microphone, there's a nibbler, uh, there's a 90 degree jig for my surf prep sander, and a new spindle. And I thought, oh, let's just take a peek at some of this stuff, let's see how it works. Uh, to do that, I'm gonna have to throw you in a tripod here. And that's good enough. Um, well, the first thing I want to look at is the new microphone thing. I kind of talked about this in the last several episodes about how bad the wind noise is, and that's really because of how bad the built-in speaker is on the phone at dealing with wind noise. So this cute little kit right here is a new wireless microphone and receiver, and it actually is two microphones. There's the receiver. That's all it is, and that plugs into the side of the phone. And then there are two microphones and they're just that big. They're the size of a quarter. And then they have a little magnetic piece on the back. This will actually stick to any kind of metal. So you can stash your microphones in places. That kind of makes it feel like spy gear. Uh, but then that other little magnetic piece, you can stick that behind it. And now your mic is just stuck on you instead of having to run wires and clips and stuff like that, it's just good to go. And it supposedly came with, if I look in here some more, a whole bunch of stuff. So like this case, this case charges those things and then I can charge the case when that runs out of power. And it came with a bunch of stuff. I think there's a uh, power cable, lanyard. Where's the one I'm looking for? Open, darn you. There, this little clip guy. So you could take that magnetic piece and put it on this little clip and now you have a clip for maybe it's something that you can't stick the magnet through. There, now I could have my magnet running on top of my hat and be pretty well out of the way. Uh, so really, really cool. My buddy Bruce kind of pointed me out to this brand and this is the updated version of the one that he was talking about. But anyway, I wanted to show this first because I am going to stop for a second and hook this up to my phone and get it all linked up for the first time and we'll see how different the audio sounds once I've done that, so. All right, so after taking a quick look at the quick start guide, it said, you don't have to do anything. You open the case, you put the receiver on the phone, you put the mic on yourself, and after you take it out of the case, it's turned on, it's paired, it's ready to go. Uh, that's what the instruction said. Mine, there's a little yellow button. I had to hold that until the blue light came on, but now it's working well. Um, I did a very brief test that yeah, proved that the microphone was working and we're good to go. So how does it sound? Is it better than the beginning of the video and my past videos? Uh, I know we're not out in the wind dealing with that right now, but one of the other cool things that it came with was, uh, they call this a dead cat, big wind sock. So I'll take the other one out of the case. If I am gonna be out in the wind, I can put the mic inside this little wind sock, which is not it's a little bit elasticy. it's a tight fit. Come on, you gonna go in there or not? There, now it's on. So I could have this guy sticking to me, which is gonna sound kind of funny now that they're stuck together. I'm probably ruining the audio right now, but let me, whoa. And uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be great, I think. I, uh, from the quick test I did, the audio quality got way better. So let's hope monkeying with this didn't just ruin that while I was doing this. But I am really hoping that this ups the audio quality of the channel when I'm doing these vlog type things. The other cool thing that came with this is a package of silly little smiley face stickers, which at first glance you go, well, this is nonsense. But if you look, their logo is on the front of it. And it's not really a logo that you know, but a lot of these audio companies put their name in big bright letters. And every time your microphone is on screen, you're advertising for them. Um, these guys actually went, well, if you don't want to do that, you just take one of these stickers and put it over the top of our logo. See if I can do this. Mm, meh, meh, here. There, now it's just a black microphone. They actually gave you a way to remove their logo from their stuff. Um, really classy, classy feature there, guys. Anyway, that is the new mic kit. Let's hope it does me a lot of good going forward and we're gonna move on to some other stuff. This is my new little metal nibbler. This is from Milner Hoffman. Uh, they actually make 
this diamond plated grinding end cutoff wheel. So this is really cool. I believe it is 40 grit and 60 grit, depending on which sides you have facing down, and then a cutoff wheel on the sides. I keep this in my angle grinder at all times because it's fast, it's easy, I don't have to change parts, I don't have to change blades. So I really, really love that. And this is the second thing I've ever gotten with them. And it is a nibbler for cutting different metals. Uh, I'm sure the instructions say how, how thick a metal you can do with it. I don't happen to know that off the top of my head. Thread on handle, so this is the whole guy. That is the cutting end right there. You feed that, the metal into that. But what's cool is that this is just an attachment. This is not powered by itself. You put it into an impact wrench, and that makes that little plunger go. And so, just for the fun of it, let's see if we can cut something. So that worked really well. Um, I have used that grinding wheel to cut this metal. Uh, I did that quite a bit to build, build that deer stand in the last couple of videos. And it, it works, but it leaves a really not straight, not smooth edge. And this thing I can cut curves with, and it's actually a really nice edge. You probably can't see that, but uh, you know, I cut pretty straight. I struggled with this tight V in here, but not too bad. And then I turned and went way back out and it turned those corners just fine. So we're going to end up refinishing the cabin. Uh, I've, I've, I know I've talked about that on the podcast, on the We Built a Thing podcast. If you're not listening to it, you should. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can go listen to that stuff and be caught up on all of the other things that I'm doing that aren't making this channel. Anyway, my grandpa built a cabin 50 years ago. It kind of fell into disrepair and last summer we gutted it with the intention of rebuilding it and we didn't get that done last year. So this year a project is to put new steel on the roof and on the sides and new windows, new doors and refinish the whole thing. And there's gonna be a lot of steel work and having this little guy is gonna make cutting in those windows and doors and trim pieces and all that kind of stuff a lot easier than trying to just hack it away with us, you know, a reciprocating saw or a grinder or something. So I think this thing's going to come in a lot of handy. Okay. So this next tool is actually an adapter for my surf prep sander. Boy, this thing's dirty. Uh, who would have thought a sander would get covered in dust eventually. So if you've ever taken a board, a tabletop or whatever, and had to sand the edge of it, you try to hold it square, but you're not going to do a very good job. And eventually you're going to round over those corners if you're not careful. So with this little guy, you, you fit the little teeth into the little holes, the air vents in the side of your sander on one side. And then the other side, I should have done this thing first. So you hook it into the one side and then you run the clasp around the other side and kind of a tight fit, but it cams over. And now you have this perfect 90 degree so that if you want to sand that edge, you can just hold the sander on the edge and go back and forth with it. And now you're not gonna round over those corners. So I think this is gonna be really good for a table that I'm gonna be building here pretty soon. And then the other thing it came with is, I believe this is a docking station, so you can mount that to the wall and then you can slide that in there and then it holds it up for you. Uh, I'm not actually sure on that, so don't quote me on it. Uh, and he knew that I'm a bit of a firearms enthusiast, so he sent something from his other business. This is from Mac Mounts. This is a display block for an AR-15. So you could actually just take this and mount it to a wall, and then this fits in the magazine well of an AR, and it locks there with the magazine release button. So you could put it on there, and it's gonna be secure to the wall, and then you just push the mag release, and you can lift the rifle off of it. So that's a cool thing he also does there. Um, Links for everything down below, you know the formula. All right, real quick, I need to give you an update on this thing. Uh, I wasn't real confident when I told you that this was just for hanging it on the wall and that's actually not it at all. You mount it to your bench and then you can take this guy and snap it in and then you rock it over so those holes line up and use a dowel, I'm just gonna use a bit 
and that locks it in, and now you have a very small stationary disc sander, so you could actually work on small parts with this thing held perfectly 90 and secured to your workbench. The other thing that is very cool, and I'm very excited about this, is from my buddy Nick at Solified Designs. This is all, I believe this is the dust collection adapter parts. It's to keep the hose up off my CNC machine over there. It goes along with his uh, dust boot, which I believe I have the new, I think that he calls this the Raptor. This is the new dust boot that goes with my new spindle setup. So I'm gonna have monster horsepower and he asked what color I wanted. I thought the orange would look really cool with all my blue, you know, Craig workbench and stuff over there. So uh, controller thing here. I don't even know what to call it at this point. I haven't got it wired in. I don't have, I'm getting the elite stuff for the Onefinity 2, so Onefinity also, not the Onefinity 2. That could be confusing. That gets mounted, that gets plugged in to my new monster, holy crap, spindle. So once I get the elite parts and upgrade the machine, then I will put the new spindle and all of this stuff into that, and I'll have new 220 power that I'll have to run in here. But this is going to be a monster. So. That is kind of all of the new stuff I have laying around at this point, but I kind of wanted to show it off. I think it's time to get outside and start moving some lumber around for that table build. I got to get the lumber inside and get it kind of acclimating so I can start planing it and joining it and go to town on that stuff. So moving on. has this little feature on the side where if you push the yellow button it goes from blue and back and forth to green blue means normal green light means uh, noise cancellation so with the wind and the tractor running we're trying the noise cancellation see how that sounds 